can't wait to leave Hawaii. I'm definitely not meant to be in Hawaii and I've realized that for sure. It's not for me, it's too slow paced. There's really nothing for me to do here. as I am right now because trust me I'm confused as shit. Ready? Here's the scenario. So yesterday I was having a mental breakdown because I was like I need to film a video and I didn't know what to film and I was like you know what I'm just gonna film like a letting the person in front of me pick what I eat for a day and then this bitch Hi. This bitch <laughs> calls me and goes why aren't you in Hawaii right now and I go I don't live in Hawaii anymore. I live in Hawaii from January to April and I was supposed to be living here till like mid-May like early June or whatever. I left beginning of April and I have these friends that are in this boy band called why don't we I had told them months ago that, oh like can't wait to see you when you guys do your show in Hawaii because when I tell you that there's nothing to fucking do in Hawaii there's nothing to fucking do in Hawaii so when I saw that like my friends were coming to like the islands in a few months for a show I was like texting them and I was like wait like can't wait to hang out and like not be bored out of my mind here I left last month it is the week of their show here and one of my friends posted on Instagram about like going to Hawaii or whatever I comment on it and I go sad like I'm not seeing you this week all of a sudden this snowball effect happens and I'm in Hawaii now so yeah she calls me yesterday and goes like wait like why aren't you here anymore like I thought you were coming too and I was like yeah I get it everyone thinks I was gonna be here this weekend I'm not here I don't live there anymore I'm like I'm in Boston right now like do you not understand like this isn't possible like Hawaii is like expensive to get to I'm 12 hours like a flight time away like no my shut the fuck up I'm going back to bed leave me alone have fun in Hawaii this weekend no 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 I said search your flight information I'm like it's not that bad girl like you gotta come like it's not that expensive you gotta come I FaceTime her again and I'm like bitch you're fucking coming so her and her sister are screaming at me on FaceTime and then I am just sitting in my bed and I'm like I'm bored out of my mind I thought I was gonna be in Hawaii this week too it's cold it's rainy in Massachusetts I had only been home for two whole weeks weeks after traveling for four months and all of a sudden I found myself with a flight booked to Honolulu. Convincing didn't even take that No, long. I know, I know. Okay. I very easily like, persuade yeah. you to do things. I get exactly. it. Yeah. Yesterday I booked my flight at 4.30 in the afternoon. I had to leave my house by 9 at night to catch a train into Boston. My flight was at 5 in the morning. So I stayed at my friend's apartment in Boston, like literally didn't sleep at all. Got up at 3 in the morning, Ubered to the airport, got into the airport, went on my flight to Houston, Texas. Had that layover, and yeah. then I had an eight hour flight here. I'm here now, I am fucking here now, and we're gonna have fun this week. I'm actually excited to be back. Like, I know I said a hundred times, like, I'm never going back to Hawaii, like, fuck that. I'm, like, scarred from that place just because of, like, stupid shit that happened, but, um, I don't know. I ended up back here, but you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have fun, dude. It's basically summer. So the game plan is I'm in Honolulu from today, Wednesday, till Sunday, so I'm gonna be with like my her sister. I'm gonna be with all the boys until their show And then also Sunday I'm going back to the island that I lived on that's gonna be a shit show But like not actually a shit show I'm gonna see some of my friends you guys probably remember Royce and Mahana from my other Hawaii vlogs I'm gonna go hang out with them for two days before my flight Monday night And then I have a flight at 5 in the morning the next day to Oklahoma to fucking Oklahoma. You really fucking hate Boston, don't you? Oh, yeah. Welcome to my vlog series of me not sleeping for like weeks on end and running around the fucking country with my friends. Also, before we get into this vlog, I just want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the only reason why I'm here right now. <laughs> thank you, Squarespace. <laughs> Look at my, she's bent over on the chair because she didn't know this video was sponsored. <laughs> You really think that I just pulled all this money out of my ass to come here? <laughs> I'm gonna get into them at the end of the video and talk about what they're all about. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go to the beach because bitches, I'm in motherfucking Hawaii again. I feel like I'm watching a Tana Mojo intro right now. I know! It takes 10 minutes to do her intro. Oh Kaylin god, here she goes. Extra. Stop! <laughs> I'm literally being backpack. attacked right now. She packs now. extra earrings in her backpack. Stop! Anyway, no. <laughs> she puts on hoops to go to the ocean. Okay, hoops! Okay, I did not just come all this way to not look good at the fucking beach, okay? Ruth, let's go! Okay. 
Okay. Oh my fucking god. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Life's fucking crazy, but thank you guys for you letting are me. Fucking crazy. Yeah, I know I'm fucking crazy, but yeah, I'm insane. Impulsive decisions by my merch. Let's get into this vlog. All right, we're going to the beach. Gym. I literally just walked up a minor steep hill and I can't fucking breathe. I need to stop pooping 100 meters. We you're right, you're right. We gotta start yeah. using our legs, ladies. Use the fucking quads. We just went to go get food at Jack in the Box. It's literally the first thing I've eaten in like 24 hours, pretty much, besides granola bars. What the fuck? I thought you said you ate a lot. What the fuck? Well, I had a ton of granola bars in the flight. So that. Okay, that filled me up for the day. Babes, look, we're matching the white I know, I like, just changed what? into something cuter. Yeah, I finally know we're Crocs. Dude, we're so proud of you. We love fashion growth. I don't know, but right now we are going, okay, it's so fucking windy, hello. Right now we're going to the boys' house and I'm probably not gonna vlog anything else after, right now, for today. See you tomorrow. Yeah, literally, see you tomorrow. But yeah, I'm so excited. I haven't seen them in so long. Really happy I came here, having a great time. Yep. For um, now, uh, good night. Yo, what'd you order? There are some good dairy free <laughs> Straight out of mom. <laughs> My God, I have not vlogged anything today. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, but okay, we just got to North Shore. Me and McKenna are going to look at the turtle right now. Every single time I see a fucking turtle in Hawaii, I lose my shit. But yeah, we're on North Shore now. We're about to meet up with literally everybody because it's just been us, Daniel, Corey, Jack, and Gabriella today. Oh my God, wait, look at the turtle. That's what I'm saying! Oh God, it's oh, actually dude. really high. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What? You're already back up. <laughs> oh, I just missed that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you scared? I want to I'm so scared. And you've done it before. I've done it so many times and I'm still so scared. Yeah, you can impact. literally see how burned oh, he is. Oh yeah, the impact. <laughs> it's, it's the impact it, it's that it's I'm worried about. Oh, 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 holy fuck. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like do this. It, do like it, this. do it, do it, do it. Like I'm going to hate myself if I don't jump right now. See, I was the same way until I fucked up my back last time I did this. So that's why I'm not I doing it. I, I'm, I'm being a pussy go. still. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> such a bad job at vlogging so far. I also look like a crackhead right now, so just ignore that. It's Friday right now, we are just at this beach. We've just been hanging out for a little bit. Everybody was here with us earlier, but they all have to go zip lining right now for some promo thing. I have no idea. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing today. Up, I don't fucking know what up, bitch. I'm, I'm just trying to explain that I've done a terrible job at yeah, vlogging. Yeah, no, I already did that too. Okay, so basically, our vlogs fucking suck because we're yeah. with a bunch of people and 
we can't just vlog everything. We've just been like living in the moment and chilling yeah. out and everything, but you know, vlogging what we can. But yesterday we were split up like into weird groups. Yeah, like, okay, we, so basically we all did okay. the same yeah. things yesterday. It was but at like literally time. an hour apart. So yeah, basically, we, like, we missed each other at all the like, locations. Like literally when we were leaving, they would show up. Mm -hmm. So basically, her, Daniel, Jack, Gabby, all of them were went to Waikiki. Jonah, Corbin, and I, we all decided to go to the North Shore first. And mm -hmm. like literally, the North Shore is an hour drive. So right when we got to the North Shore, they decided to leave to go to the North Shore. So when yep. we were done at the North Shore, they showed up at the North Shore. And it was so. so funny. I was looking at all of our stories yesterday and like we were all like posting the same things, like the yeah, same we turtle, were. the same beaches, the same cliff yep. jumping, all just hours apart. Yeah. suck but that's actually all i ended up filming from that portion of the trip i know i suck i'm fully aware but i do have a funny story that i want to share with you guys really fast about what happened when i was trying to leave oahu that morning so the night before the last thing i vlogged was me and all the girls at the concert and everything we ended up getting no sleep that night because we were all just hanging out being silly being goofy for our last night of all being together so i didn't go to sleep until five in the morning and i had my alarm set for seven in the morning because i had to be at the airport around nine same thing with the boys. They actually all had a flight to Japan. So all of our alarms were set for like the same time in the morning. I had to leave everyone a little bit earlier because my flight was earlier than them. Whatever. So I'm trying to leave the house. Everything's going normal so far. I'm bringing my bags outside. My Uber's on the way. I'm saying bye to everyone, being sad, whatever. It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm tired of shit. So I am walking out of the house and my Uber driver calls me. He says to me that he can't get down the street to pick me up right now. And I'm just like, dude, like why? Like what's going on? Like what could possibly be happening right now? The connection with me and him is all like fucked up. Like he's talking to a couple other people right now. It seems like there's a lot of noise going on in the background. All I hear him say to me is I can't get down the street right now. There's a manhunt going on. <laughs> and I sit there and I'm just like, wait, there's a manhunt going on? And he goes, yeah, hold on. I'm like trying to figure this out. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? Like there's a fucking manhunt going on on our street right now. There's no way. And I just start panicking. I'm like, we're all going to miss our flights. There's no way any of us can get out of our streets. Our streets are closed down because of a manhunt right now. Holy shit. There's a guy on the loose with a gun right now. Like we're all going to fucking die. This all happened within like the span of like 15 seconds. I am panicking i'm like oh my god like today's the day like it's over for me like i'm so fucked so i literally run back into the house like an idiot with the uber driver on my phone still because i was gonna have him repeat it to everyone else so everyone else knows what the fuck is going on right now i say to my uber driver again okay so like wait w what is happening right now and then he goes oh wait wait sorry oh my god i heard it wrong the police officer was trying to tell me that there was a marathon going on not a fucking manhunt. So then I'm just standing in the kitchen looking like an idiot, out of breath and just stressed out and freaking out and losing my shit because a marathon is going on and I thought there was a manhunt going on. So then I had this clip of me doing like the literal walk of shame at 7.30 in the morning to an elementary school with all my suitcases and everything because the Ubers cannot get down to our street because of the marathon. And I literally had to get picked up like on the side of the road outside of an elementary school in the middle of Oahu by my Uber driver that told me that like my life was potentially like at risk <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to explain that really fast for the people who saw my tweet about this because that was so ridiculous it was way too early in the morning to be thinking that there was a manhunt going on in our neighborhood <laughs> oh my god but yeah that's all I have for this section of the video let's get on to the big island part <laughs>
are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Remember when I lost my camera and this vlog has been so fucking terrible? Actually, no, I didn't lose my camera. I lost all my batteries. So that's why this vlog has been absolutely terrible so far. We celebrated Royce's birthday last night. How was your birthday? Oh man, it was fun. It's a great time. I fucking woke up this morning and realized that I simply have my flight today and I'm really not ready to do another 12 hour flight. It's just gonna be such a long day. I wish I had more time here. If I can come back here this soon after the last time I was here, I'm sure I'll be back here like next week. Remember when I texted you? I made a joke about randomly coming back to Hawaii. Yeah, I never thought. Yeah, I didn't think I was taking that joke seriously. Yeah, I, was, I do that seriously. a lot in my videos. I always like you foreshadow. Took it very seriously. I foreshadow my own bullshit all the time. Foreshadowing manifestation and my bank account crying. <laughs> and yeah, and it's yeah, and negative bit. <laughs> Cheers to that. Just throw my wine all over myself. Fuck my shit up. Fuck. Well, I'm gonna drink my half glass of wine now. We're gonna sit here now, and then we're gonna go back to the room. I'm watch probably gonna update. Born. Yeah, watch A yeah, Star Is Born. It's called Seen A Star Is Born. He's making sure. me watch it. Oh, I have is. never seen it for Amazing. some reason. But like, everyone knows, I always talk about this all the time. I hate watching things that everyone else is talking about. Yeah, I feel like the majority of people who are gonna watch this have watched Star Is Born. Yeah. And you guys know it's great, so. Yeah. And then everyone's gonna to, yell at me and be like, how have you not I'm seen about it? To, about to drop some knowledge on her. I know. And so is Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. It's yeah. Fucking really good time. Yep. Are oh, we gonna eat some quesadillas and pizza? Yes, <laughs> oh yeah. Cold, cold like, quesadillas cold and pizza from last night. And then tonight, I'm literally bullying Royce and Mahana and Jake to take me to On The Rocks, because I rocks. want my fried rice. Literally every rocks. single Hawaii vlog that I ever did, I ate that pineapple fried rice. It's so good. I'm gonna talk more about my week when we get back to the hotel later. It's so nice today. Yeah. It's a nice day. It's beautiful. Like, this view actually looks fake as shit. Once again, apologizing for my really shitty job of vlogging during this entire video. That's actually all I have from Big Island. Didn't vlog that much once again because I was enjoying time with my friends and I had lost like half of my accessories to my camera. But yeah, I just wanted to end this video by saying that I had a fucking great time during this entire trip. That's probably gonna be one of the most memorable trips of my entire life. I had so much fun and I still can't believe I really just picked up and left Boston like within the span of a few hours and went to Hawaii. I met so many many great people you guys when I tell you that all the girls that I met on this trip I'm like so far up their ass now because like they are some of the nicest and like most welcoming and just like genuine people I've ever met in my life like I fucking mean that normally girls scare the shit out of me because girls can be so mean to each other but honestly I feel like I made so many new lifelong friends from this trip and that's kind of what I had figured was gonna happen going into this trip I was like everything happens for a reason like the world is telling me go to fucking Hawaii right now so like something's gonna come out of it and now I have a couple new friends and I'm happy with the outcome of the whole trip i had so much fun and it was like the other alternate ending of my time in hawaii so far that i needed i've never done anything that last minute in my entire life to this extent i guess but let me be living proof that like if there's something you want to do last minute is shit go fucking do it because it could end up being one of the best decisions of your whole entire life so speaking of that once again this video is sponsored by squarespace and this whole entire video would not have been a thing without them if you don't know what squarespace is squarespace is an all-in-one platform that can be used to make a website online store blog portfolio and much more it's really easy to use and has beautiful built-in templates ready for you to customize them to your own liking for whatever kind of website you're building. Squarespace has a lot of features to it that come in handy if you're someone like me and you're always on the go and can randomly end up being on the go. Like with options to set post entries to be published in the future at a later date and time. There's also a Squarespace blog app in the iTunes and Android stores that help you manage blog comments and entries from your phone extremely easily wherever you may be. You can even have your post auto post to Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook so that you don't have to spend the time manually updating everyone at your social medias to let everyone know that you have a new post on your website. These features are all extremely useful to my life lifestyle and I'm sure I'm not alone in this and that you guys can find some usage from these Squarespace features as well. In case you didn't know, I actually used Squarespace to start my new blog last month that I'm going to be posting on again later this week. So if you want to check that out, go to CaitlinRay.com. And if you're ready to build your own website, head to Squarespace.com for a free trial today. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to Squarespace.com slash CaitlinRay to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Make sure you 
you go check out Squarespace, I swear to God, guys, they're amazing. And I really genuinely enjoy their products so much. And I think that they're a great online tool to have. But yeah, that is it. That's all the time I have for today. I really hope you enjoy this. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for like supporting me through everything. It means the whole entire world. You already know that. I do this speech all the time and like every one of my videos, but yeah, just wanted to remind you. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all my social medias down below or just look at them right here and type in xcaitlin on the social media platform that you want to. I will see you guys in my next video. It's probably not gonna be in Hawaii, but I can't promise you that I'm not gonna end up in Hawaii again anytime soon because hi, it's me. Nice to meet you. This is like how I work. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.